My name is Bronwyn Venti. My name is Jason. My name is Caden Spunga. My name is Billy Liskowicz. My name is Eric Loloko. My name is Ashlyn Tilkut. <laughs> My name is Jade of Seer. My name is Nicole Bear. My name is Avery Hunt. My name is Tiana Chorney, and this is The, the, the Portrait Project. My piece is about a lost witch trying to find her sisters in a very comedic way. My piece is about a woman confronting somebody who has regressive ideas about gender and art at a party. My piece is about the control the media has over people and the pressure from society to portray the perfect image. My monologue also features themes of feminism, plagues, and expectations. My piece is about a woman confronting the views of getting ready and looking your best to feel your best and faking it when you don't have the confidence. Uh, my play is about an artist trying to find creativity while being stuck inside and isolated with his many children. My piece is about a young woman weighing the, her choices in regards to leaving for a new job and for a new world or staying home. And she is reflecting with her closest friends, which are some trees. <laughs> My piece is uh, about someone who struggles with uh, being targeted about his skin color and he learns to overcome it and stand up for himself. Yeah. This is about pain and a woman's struggle with her pain and people's perceptions of people with disabilities, I guess. My piece is about a scorned woman regaining her agency in these troubling times with a focus on toxic relationships and the overview theme of isolation. My piece is about a woman dealing with her chronic nightmares and not being believed by her husband while also dealing with substance abuse. My portrait is The Magic Circle by John William Waterhouse. I originally was going to choose a different Waterhouse picture and I was starting to do my research on him and I saw the title of The Magic Circle. I'm a huge fan of fantasy. And so I clicked on it just to see what it was. And I absolutely fell in love and pretty much chose it on the spot from then. My portrait is Portrait of a Young Woman by Gerda Wegner. Um, I knew that I wanted to do a portrait that took, that was painted sometime around the 1920s because they were in a very similar situation to the one that we're in. And I was drawn to that specific portrait because I really liked her facial expression. She looked like she had something to say and I thought that I should write it. The portrait I chose was Woman at Her Toilette by Berth Morisot. I was drawn to this portrait because of how deflated the character looked in the portrait. I wanted to be able to use my piece to expand on the idea of should we do something we don't agree with to make others happy, or is it important to always fight for what we believe in? Due to how the portrait features a woman begrudgingly getting ready, I figured this was a great platform for my idea. My portrait is Portrait of Madame X by John Singer Sargent. And I was first initially drawn to this portrait by the elegance that she portrays in the portrait, but I fell in love with her in the backstory of that she was a feisty woman in her time. And I thought we could use some a feisty woman in our time. So I brought her forward. I chose the portrait titled Self Portrait by Tintoretto. And I was drawn to it because of how the man in the portrait seems to stare right out at you when you look at it. And I thought it, he looked kind of familiar to me when I have my hair grown out more. My portrait is In the Orangery by Charles Edward Perugini. And I first was drawn to it because I've always had a long time love for uh, romantic Italian painters. And I was familiar of his work of uh, Pandora and as I looked more into his work, this piece specifically spoke to me because 
during quarantine, during these strange times, I found a lot of comfort in gardening and something in the portrait just told me that there was someone who also found comfort in, in the garden too. <laughs> Uh, when looking for, when looking into the portrait, I wanted to uh, sh uh, show a piece that no one really knows. And the piece I ended up going with is called Social Disconnect 3 by Joshua Mills. It really drew my attention because um, the feeling of despair and alone just really resonated with me. And that's why I decided to choose that piece. Uh, when I was first looking for portrait to choose, I knew I wanted to do a uh, something from an artist with a disability. And um, during my Google search, I found uh, Frida Kahlo. Uh, and I'd known ahead of time that she did have a disability. Um, so I knew she was on the list. Um, but then I found this portrait that I chose called The Broken Column. And it just, it took my breath away when I saw it and it, um, it was very raw and honest, I thought, and it caught my attention right away. I chose Tears, uh, Freya's Tears by Gustav Klim. Um, firstly, because I've always had a love for Norse mythology and in the isolation of just the face, I thought it would be a very interesting concept to play with. And I also saw myself within the pain this woman feels and that many can um, see themselves in during these troubling times. So I picked The Nightmare by Henry Fusetti, and I picked it because I've always been drawn to kind of macabre images, and this one really stood out to me. Um, also, it's referenced in a lot of horror um, media, so I was very drawn to that.